Hey guys, it's Swarm here and today I am back with a new series that I'm planning to continue which is called Top 10 Call of Duty. So this is the series, brand new, where I'm in any Call of Duty game from Infinity War to Treyarch games where I'll be doing top 10s of random little things and in this episode I'm going to do Wonder Weapons but in the future I will do other ones and just count down the top 10 of the best of them in my opinion and you guys can comment below what yours is disagree agree um and i hope you enjoy so to start off our top 10 countdown we're going to go with number 10 and i have picked the winter's howl this weapon is only available on five and if you bought the um resurrection dlc in black ops you could also get it in nacta verruckt shino numa and darice on black ops um this weapon freezes zombies for um, about two to five seconds, maybe a bit more. Um, it weren't really as good as I thought it would be, but it isn't a nice cool weapon, and it is cool when you freeze the zombies, and it is useful at some time to when you're in danger, just shoot them, and then you'll freeze, so that's kind of cool. And number nine, we've got the Scavenger. This gun is only available in the Black Ops map Call of the Dead. So, this is basically... Um, similar to a crossbow, um, it has a scoop and you can aim down at long distances and just fire. It's basically a sniper um, that fires explosive rounds. Um, you can aim it because of, of Call of the Dead's massive landscape of the map. You could aim like 30 meters away, like quite far away. Aim, it'll stick to a zombie and basically just blow them all up, which is really cool. And it's even better. Pack a punch. So the, with the number 8 spot we've got the baby gun or its full name the 31-79JGB215. This gun is in Shangri-La in Black Ops 1, the first one and it, it was quite a funny weapon because what it did was fire these like mystical rounds like it was very weird like the gun structure as well had like a little dragon on it and it would fire rounds at a group of zombies and it'll turn them all to little zombies little midgets and um all you did is run through them and kick them it was dead funny and it was it was funny to play with as well so i really like that weapon so that's why it's at number eight but not as uh, powerful and then um, maybe tactical as it seemed and uh, but like it was not as useful but it was still fun to play with and did enjoy it so number seven we have the new um black ops 2 won the weapon the slick will fire from die Rise. so the slick will fire and um, fires purple um splats and it would go on a zombie go on the floor it's like an acid type and zombies would go over and it would cover like an area and as zombies came through, they would slip on it, and depending on what round it was on, they would die or just slip on it. And um, th this weapon was really good because it was quite t tactical and and used for strategies in different situations, and was a really good wonder weapon. And and loved it. This was a buildable weapon, so you could not get this in the box. I, but I think you could if um, I think one person gone down. I'm not sure, but you could get it in the box i think one person had to die with the sickle fire and you could build it and um, get it in the box so number six i chose the wave gun from black ops one's last map moon so the wave gun is very very unique because you could detach it into two dual weapons or you could put it together and it would create the wave gun so the wave gun would blast a round at a group of zombies and make them go all fat and explode basically and it was very very cool and funny and it, it was just very good and the gun design was quite cool red and blue and it looked a bit similar to the ray gun but it was very fun to play with and um it was really really cool um number five we go with the paralyzer from the newly new map a buried the paralyzer would shoot um unlimited ammo at zombies and it would make them go in slow-mo so this weapon was really really useful so if you're in the corner and then um, you're getting stuck you just slow them all down and then try and find the way out or even kill them with it and then um, this was the weapon that i got around 50 with and buried the solo strategy strategy or tactic whatever you want to call it and was really 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 helpful and was really really cool it was m dead massive one of those massive 
and um, one of the weapons that ha was very very powerful against zombies and was also <laughs> really really cool okay number four we go with the black ops one and um, one of the weapon which is the thunder gun on the very first map kino de Torton. and um, the thunder gun is what the call Duty community really wanted back in future maps but so far um, up to buried and Origins is coming out soon, so if a new Wonder Weapon comes out in Origins and it it went in this countdown, I'm sorry, but but this was made before or Origins, so I can't say. And they haven't released any Wonder Weapon um at this moment. They have released a couple of new guns, but no Wonder Weapon at the moment. But the Thunder Gun would blast one massive round at a whole load of zombies and blow them all away. Literally, that is how it would do it. And um, it was even better pack a punch again, the Zeus cannon, and just what people would normally do is run around the stage, get a group of zombies, just blast them away. It was really, really helpful and was awesome. And I'm really surprised Treyarch did not bring that back in the next map, which was Ascension. Yes, Ascension was the next map, but 40 they did not bring it back. So we go to number three, which is the Ray Gun Mark II from Buried. So this is basically a different version of the ray gun and the ray gun mark 2 which was a free burst weapon that would fire three rounds obviously through a train and would kill them all so this gun is like the type of train type like um basically run around everywhere and then get a group of zombies and blast through the middle of the line and then would kill almost all of them and was it was awesome man loads of people were excited to hear that a new version of the Reagan will coming out and hopefully it gets to be in more maps because that was all that was really really good and was used in gr just it was great for Berry the type of map that it was short combat like but it was dead cool to go through um, trains like that so to number two spot and we go with the Wonder Waffy DG2 from World at War this was after the ray gun, the very very first Wonder Weapon in a DLC and um, well, Reagan went in the DLC, made in the DLC, but um, the one that Waffy DG2 was and was in the storyline created by Rick Toffin, and this blew our minds away a couple of years ago in World at War. Just the new, brand new weapon. It was actually the first thing I got in the box, and she don't even remember randomly. But um, Pack a Punch and Wonder Waffy DG3, even better. It would just fire explosive bolts into a load of zombies and then spread. And then electrocute them, and then they fall to the ground and die. And it was, I, I, for some reason, I just loved the reloading of it, and um, where it had like three little bolt fingers and just recharge it. Just re really cool. I, I just thought it was cool, and the noise it made, I just really liked it. So we go to the number one spot this week, and to be honest, I think everyone knew it was this: the ray gun, the original ray gun from Anakda Untulton. Ray gun. It's just a ray gun, isn't it? You can never like it when you get that thing in the box. Well, sometimes you need PHC for a downside, but still, what a weapon. This blew my mind away when I first played Well of War. Well of War was my first Call of Duty game, and I completed the campaign, got, got on the new bonus mode, zombies instantly, and just using that was amazing. It had 180 um, rounds of ammo, and it would just blast like circles of green light at them and then just literally kill them one hit it was really really cool and could also be used as a rapid fire weapon and that is our top 10 for this week for wonder weapons please leave a like if you enjoyed this top 10 to, um, top 10 series and comment below what do you want top 10 next time when i do another video on this so please leave a like if you enjoy comment below and um, subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video